Arcadia Woodlands by the LA County Department of Public Works was a crime against nature and the people of Southern California. After months of pursuing an aggressive case against us, prosecutors finally dropped their call for restitution and fines that combined would have totaled more than $30,000. Had they succeeded, they would have set a dangerous precedent that would have had a chilling effect on free speech activities. Restitution is for victims. In this case, the victims were the people of Los Angeles County who lost an irreplaceable resource, the last mature oak woodlands of its kind in the San Gabriel Valley. But some cynics may say, But what's the big deal about killing some old trees? In fact, the county had the audacity to turn oaks and sycamores, some hundreds of years old, into wood chips, essentially saying that they had no value when precious oak and sycamore of that age would have fetched hundreds of thousands of dollars from furniture makers and builders. But the value of what was lost goes deeper than that. Do you know of any human being or machine that can produce oxygen as efficiently as a tree? The last time I checked, even the best of us, if we don't have oxygen for 10 minutes, we're dead. So next time you hear a cynic asking that question, what's the big deal about killing some old trees? There's an answer for you. And that's even before we begin to talk about the habitat loss and all the animals killed or displaced in the process. This mindset that nature has no value is what must change at the LA County Department of Public Works. This is why we took action. Trees and nature matter. In fact, they give us life. LA County Department of Public Works policy needs to start reflecting that. In the months since our action and the community effort behind it, we've seen positive steps taken the requiring of an EIR at Hahamunga, and the tabling of the destruction of Latuna Canyon for now are a start. But we need to go much further. We are choosing to settle this case so we can focus our energies on serving the public good by holding public officials accountable and effecting change in policies so that the value of nature is prioritized and protected. We gladly embark on the community service stipulated in this settlement, as we believe that the action we took on January 12, 2011, was an act of community service. We look forward to continuing these efforts. We are grateful for the tremendous community support over the past six months that helped us to stand strong in the face of an aggressive prosecution and attempts to intimidate us economically and with the threat of jail. It was an honor to take this action with Julia J. Posen, Andrea Bowers, and Travis Jokimson, good people who were willing to risk their safety and freedom to stand up for our future and for all our children and their children's children. Nonviolent civil disobedience will always be the lifeblood of a free and open society. When power and authority in the form of public officials becomes too enamored with itself that they know better than the public they work for, then it is the right and duty of all free-thinking people to rise up and take action. In the future, we hope things will be different, that our public officials will make wiser decisions about respecting the value of nature and protecting our natural heritage. If they don't, and if I were presented with the same circumstances again, would I take the same kind of action I took on January 12th at the Arcadia Woodlands? Absolutely. Next time, my hope is that many more of you, my neighbors, friends, and free-thinking fellow citizens, would join as well. Our future and the future of our children is at stake. I look forward to continuing efforts to make the changes necessary to preserve life and everyone's right to freedom of speech. Oh, very good. Woo. Thank you. <laughs>